those reels on Facebook. Those reels. They put me in the rabbit hole. I just go down a rabbit hole. I don't know about you, but they can suck me in. Those reels, it's the same as a short on YouTube or a TikTok. But once I get going, I'm going to do something on Facebook. And all of a sudden, I find myself scrolling through reels. And each one is more interesting than the next. It's like candy. <laughs> it's like it. This is, I don't know about you, but this has happened to me a, quite a bit. And I all of a sudden I snap out of it and I was like, what was I going to do on here on Facebook? You're the, the rabbit hole. I mean, it makes my mind go. <laughs> and I noticed today that after I went through, it's like I snapped out of it. I thought, well, I don't remember any of them. I went through quite a few. I don't remember them. Everybody wants to like catch your attention. It's like that three second attention. The one that I do remember, it was a Parmesan herb potato crisp. I thought that looked good. <laughs> well, guess what? I've got a cooking show for you and we can talk while we do this. I am just, you know, the thing is, I'm hungry right now. <laughs> what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. I haven't had breakfast. I've been to the gym. I worked out, got myself ready, made a couple errands. I had to run to the post office. Thank you for your orders, everybody. They're on their way, everybody. And um, thank you so much. You know, neck gaiters, yes, sunglasses. I only have a few sunglasses left, so. But what I want to make, and it just sounds so good. This isn't the can. This is the can of what I'm going to make. It's a, a black bean um, burger mix. It's really, really good. I did find it on Amazon. Paul and I looked for it. Uh, we bought this at Walmart, but they're not really, I can't really find them anymore. But yeah, well, I think we found them in Flagstaff. I'm not finding them here in Tucson. This is what I put in a baggie. And then the rest, um, well, Paul did have it, but now it's in our storage. It's, it's a, a can, a big can. So we're going to do this. And I'm going to put, the, I'll be putting the um, camera up and down and up and down. So here we go. I'm going to, what, what I want to do is start getting this ready you want to add water to this I don't want to make a lot enough for a small sandwich man yeah, okay I always end up making way too much but let's let's try this okay maybe a little bit <laughs> maybe a little bit more there we go and I don't want to add too much water that's always a problem then you have to add more I'm just going very slow very slow. Oh, that doesn't look like much at all, does it? Hmm. Slow. Let's see how this will absorb to make a little you, you know I've made big burgers before like I made it and the burger was about that big you know that circumference this looks like it might be the winner here let's see there we go I think that's per I think this is gonna be perfect. I just want to make a small burger because because what I did was I got um, some of my favorite the great value little burgers are they're just small. It would be the perfect size for this. And I just wanted to show you how to make this. You can make as much as you want. Uh, you can actually crumble it and fry it, just you don't even have to make it into a burger, right? Well, <laughs> guess what? These were a dollar, a dollar, they're $1.38. Do you know that that's, that's a huge increase? 
percentage increase. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, I did, I, this is my cucumber. Look how nice it is. I just have to cut this off. This, it's cold. It's cold in my van. It's 66 degrees now, but when I wake up, it's like 51 degrees in here. But I'm just going to slice these ever so small just for a little bit of a crunch in here. And then I'm going to slice a little bit of my onion. But yeah, about those reels, I am not a fan of the the shorts or the TikToks. It seems to me that they move too fast for me. I mean, I can deal with them. It's not that, you know, I don't have the, a mind for it. But to me, um, there's only a couple of things I enjoy on there. One thing I enjoy on the shorts is like a really quick comedy, like, <laughs> like a minute long where it's a good joke. So it's a stand up comedy. I do like that. That I enjoy. And uh, maybe a quick cooking. You know what? I'm thinking just a little bit more water. This, yeah, just, but ever so, oh, this is hard. Um, ever so small. Yeah. Do, do, drip, drip, drip. Drip, drip. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. But I'm, I don't know. Are you a fan? Let me know down below. Are you a fan of those reels on Facebook? They can, they, I'm just saying they, they get me and then I'm in. I'm in, I'm in. I can't stop looking at them. But I kind of like, I like to, um, look at something longer. I, I can't be alone on this. I've had people say, oh, your before my videos were longer. They said, your videos are too long. And I get that. But on the kind of content that I list, I watch and listen to on YouTube, they're longer because I want to get something out of it. I want to get some information out of it. And, you know, sometimes I'm not always given information. So I understand you don't want to just, um, see this and that for, for like 40 minutes long. But I am not a big fan of the shorts because it's like, it's almost like being in Times Square. Things are just flashing at us. Now, I know a lot of you who have been watching me for a while. Y'all remember Jack Moore. Jack Moore. Yes. Well, let me give you an update on him. I finally heard from him again. I mean, we've been in contact all the way through since we met. He's like a, he's really like a, my brother. <laughs> he's like a, he's like, I mean, I just love him. And, um, some of you thought, oh, you guys are all romantic. We really are not romantic. Well, obviously. Um, but, he's a really good friend and he reminds me of like the brother I'd like to have. <laughs> yeah. Um, very kind and very intelligent. Now what he did, just an update for him, he worked at Digitech. It was up that minute up in, um, Minnesota. Get, I'm just kidding. You don't need to watch me get my stove because you've seen me do it so many times. If you haven't seen me do it, please let me know in comments and I'll do a little demonstration for you again, a quick one um, on another video. This is our Gas One. The brand is called Gas One because one of you actually messaged me on Facebook, said, what, what stove do you use? It's a Gas One. Let me just show this. There we go. It's a butane or propane. It's a dual stove. So, I actually can use, I bought this and got rid of my old one because the thing is, if you're in really cold weather, I mean cold, like 20 degrees or below, something like that. Not That's not a perfect number. The butane will not come out. It just won't come out. Um, it, it, it's, it's too cold for it. One time I was just freezing to death and I wanted coffee so bad. I wanted to get going and this wouldn't come out. And, um, 
<laughs> I don't know why, instead of driving <laughs> low to like McDonald's to get one, I was like, ah, you know, well, I eventually did have to go. And um, so I thought, never again. I bought I bought this, a dual now, and I have propane st uh, stored down here. Um, I can just get that out. What it is, is there's a cord that, okay, it goes through here and it hooks onto here. You screw it onto here and the cord comes out so that your propane can be out here. Yeah. And you can't, cl well, I guess you can close it, yeah. But um, that's the way that works and it does use propane. So that's really, I call it the gas one duo, duo. Dual. Dual. <laughs> Not dual. Oh dear. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days, right? Here's my skillet. What I do is I store it under my driver's seat. Out of sight, out of mind. But it's easy to grab. And I grab, I put it in a plastic bag. Of one of those big jumbos. There we go. I love this skillet. Looks like I need to get some more olive oil. Hmm. Olive oil, and I need water. I just try to write down everything right away because my mind, I have so much to think about. <laughs> I gotta like do it right away. There we go. Okay, so a little bit of oil. I'm gonna put this down now. There we go. Hey, hi. Let me turn this on. There we go. Let's heat this up. Let's see how this is doing. Looks good. It's going to be ever so small. But, you know, I don't need a lot. So, that's the way that goes. Yes, yeah, some of you have said, oh, I'd love to watch you cook in there. This is how you cook in a small space. This is. This is how I cook in a small space. And if you noticed, I my pillows, I put up there. The dried part off. I, I never, I eat the peeling, ever. Uh, it, there's a lot of, they put a lot of wax on it. And so I'm going to just cut this off. And get my plate handy. Let me see if I can slice this very, very, very thin. One more slice. No, I'm not gonna. Th this, this isn't that sharp. And I've, I've been cooking for years. Don't worry about my fingers. <laughs> I had one of you one time go. Oh, I was so scared you were gonna. Don't cut yourself. Be careful. <laughs> I know. I know. So cute. Thank you for your concern, though. I, I really do appreciate it. But I've been cooking and slicing, and I was a good, I talk about this all the time. I was a cooker. I was in the kitchen quite a bit when I was, um, lived in a house. And when I was a mom with my kids at home, oh my gosh, yes. I was a baker. What was my special? Well, bread was my specialty. I had a recipe that would knock your socks off. I had it down pat. I'm gonna just cut some ever so small thin I'm not even going to peel this here because it's it's just a little teeny sandwich this is what I want to eat a little sandwich I don't want it to be huge I don't want a lot I got some lettuce later I'm going to make myself a really nice salad with what do I put in my salad I'll eat the rest of this cucumber I chop onion in it and uh what else do I have? Oh, avocados. Somebody left me a message. Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Tyler's leaving me messages. I'm telling. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ready for this? Let me put the camera down for you. There we go. It's pretty hot, too. So, let's see. I'm just going to put it on here. Get the oil. This isn't level. Let me see. What I want to do is I just want to kind of smash it into a nice circle. Let's see if I can do this. 
Might have to get my fingers in here, folks. This, and I can't really flatten it too much. Get over here, foil. It's not level. <laughs> Let's get back over there. Let's get this done. That looks like a good size burger for this. Let's see what size this is. Let's open this up. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Okay. We'll put, keep this out. I'm not afraid of oil or fats. They, there's so much research now that says fats we need fats. I'd look at that beautiful apple. Look at that beautiful apple. Honey crisp. I'll eat this. I'm going to eat this and then later on I'm going to make a salad and with an apple. You know, sometimes you what I found you can do is um actually just mince the apple or cut the apple pieces into the salad it's really good look like a bird let me i'm gonna see if i can get this Ooh, good okay now what i want to do is this piece of swiss cheese over it so i'm gonna get my bread ready i'm gonna put a little mustard You know, this burger is perfect for somebody who does not have a refrigerator, right? Let's see, so you can see. And I'm going to put my onion down at the bottom. And I'm going to put my cucumber there. My lettuce. This is like the perfect size. And then I'm going to put some ranch dressing on the top of the bun. There we go. There we go. What do you think? You know, this is perfect if you don't have a refrigerator and you can't do meat, but you want like a burger kind of a sandwich. I do have pickles. I just thought about that, but I'm just going to leave this the way this is. Let's try this out. Mm-hmm. It's got a good flavor. Very good flavor, everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me take this off. <laughs> the last time I ate, I forgot about it. You can really hear me chewing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because my microphone. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was hungry. So I want to get back to talking about Jack Moore. I reconnected with him. He finally let me know that he was at his destination. He worked for almost a year at Digitech and saved up almost all of his money and just stashed it away. Well, what he did was he planned where he was going to go next. He really likes to be in Asia. And he found a series of islands that he wanted to um, spend time at. Well, they just built a series of studio apartments. The money that he saved, he it's almost like 
like the apartment is like a hundred dollars a month where he's at uh, you know in american dollars oh my gosh he's living right by the beach and you can see by these pictures that he just sent me oh my gosh now talk about planning he's been planning this for um a little while not like a whole year but um he waited to find out what he wanted to do and this is what he wanted to do he gets around island by island on this boat he spends his time on the beach look at this beach look at the trees this is planning everybody this is and this is his new this is how he's going to spend 2023 it's warm <laughs> it's just well can you imagine this is what planning is all about this is what visioning what you want to do your future is all about he visioned it he planned it and now he's living it it's it has manifested this is his reality and I'm so happy for him that he is spending time doing this. He really didn't spend much time in Quartzsite. Um, he did start a YouTube channel, but he just felt like that really wasn't his cup of tea. Although he still does have his YouTube channel. You can go, I'll leave the link. You can go see some of the videos that he did. He was in a few of my videos. He was definitely ready, willing, and able to show what he had. I did a first, when I first met him, I did a van tour and I will leave that link for you. He did a, for me, he did a bug out bag video to show you what he carries in his bug out bag. He did my van tour while we were in Quartzsite. That was hilarious. I'll leave that link for you. Um, he's just, he's a really great guy. And I know that you um, remember him, Jack Moore. But this is where he's at right now, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I wanted to end this video with that, that we can dream big. He dreamed big, and now that's where he's at, and his dream is coming true for a while. But he'll he'll move on and go someplace else. He said next, he said he may be even thinking about Japan. He wants to visit Japan in um, maybe next year. That would be his next adventure. So I think that everybody should dream big because it really does happen. Things happen for us when we, if we know what we want. And I will tell you that Jack is a, a um, very devoted, faithful Christian. But he knows the principle of planning and putting out what he wants. And he knows for sure that God wants him to be happy and be doing things um, that he wants to do too. So, with that said, everybody, I'm going to finish my sandwich. I love you all. Until tomorrow, maybe I'll find something else to cook or I'll find some kind of other wacky information to give you. I love you guys. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and go to minivanlee.com. We've got a lot of you are um, getting ready again. You're getting my nep gaiters and my sunglasses. Don't forget about the exercise tapes. So... I love you. Bye.